Okay, been a long time since I've done a pickup video, but um, yeah, I've not really bought anything worth uh, doing a pickup video about until now. And um, you know, for years and years, I've wanted to find just a really cool little handheld device. Um, I've got one of those Game Boy Advance SPs, you know, with the uh, backlit screen, and it's a great little pocket handheld console but it, again it's just Game Boy Advance and uh, in this day and age there's loads and loads of cool little Android you know mobile devices and handheld retro systems that you can put loads of uh, arcade and emulation games onto and I think one of the best ones is this brand Anbernic and uh, so I've uh, yeah recently taken a plunge and gone for the little kind of small uh small model and the reason why i want to go for this one is basically because i just want to use it for games that are like 8 and 16 bit literally just nes uh, pc engine mega drive those old 16 bit platformers kind of directional games so um there is a different version of this which is longer and has you know uh analog sticks but uh, I just wanted this little handheld just as a little kind of it's it looks like a kind of like a little Game Boy Advance and uh, yeah I was just uh, I was looking at some reviews and videos on this on this product and um, I've taken the plunge and I'm really excited about having a new little handheld system that I can play all my little uh, retro games on here we go. Oh, it's lovely. There we go. I did order the, um, there's like a gold and red Famicom version style one, but um, they said this kind of still waiting on a restock of that. So they sent me the silver one instead. Uh, uh, it takes two, I think it, from what I've seen, it takes a couple, here we go. It takes a couple of SD cards, uh, one for the operating system and one for your ROMs. I'm not going to go through how to set up all that stuff, but um, there's plenty of tutorials online about it. I just wanted to kind of, uh, yeah, do a video of um, my latest cool little handheld, which I'm really, really looking forward to playing. Uh, it'd be nice just to have it around the house, just, uh, you know, on those little kind of moments where you're bored, you're waiting for the oven, you're waiting for the kettle to boil or something, and just, you know, stick on some retro game. Uh play some old kind of 16-bit games and um, it saves me time from having to switch on my retro pie and plug you know have it plugged into the tv and all that business is just a cool little alternative portable option uh, which i'm excited about now i don't know if this has got any power i've literally just opened it i don't know if it comes charged or what let's see if i can turn it on and see if there's any kind of power to this thing um i don't even know how to turn it on where is the power button? Here we go. Is that a power on the side? There we go, just there. Let's see if there's any juice in this thing. I don't, no, it doesn't look like it. It comes with, a, I think it's got like a rechargeable battery in there, but um, I don't think it even comes with a charger, does it? Is there anything in the box? Let's um, Let's take a look if there's a charger in here. Oh, cool. Oh, it comes with a micro SD. Oh, that's cool. Um, I wasn't expecting that because I've ordered some additional ones. What's that? 60... I've ordered a 64 gigabyte SD as well. Um, yeah, so this is to give it some juice. I think what I'll do, um, I'll just go ahead and go and see if I can load up some games on it. And I'll give you a quick demo of yeah what it looks like. But from first impressions... I was a bit worried about this D-pad being a little bit low. I thought it wouldn't be, I wasn't going to be able to hold it very comfortably, but it feels really nice. Really nice. It's got two. I do want to put some PlayStation games on here. I want to put Symphony of the Night. I want to put all the Castlevania games on here. I want a little handheld uh, for the PlayStation 1 kind of 2D games. Nothing 3D or arcade. I'm not really fussed about that. I just want some platformers and some uh, real cool kind of 8 and 16 bit style games as well. So uh, I think I'll see if I can go ahead and load it up and yeah, I'll uh, show you what it plays like. So yeah, stay tuned for more. 
Okay, do you know what? I've put a little bit of charge into it. So and instead of just loading it with ROMs, let's see. Let me just go through a few of the menus and we'll show you what's on here as default. Uh, I haven't put the other card. I don't know if this is loaded with ROMs. I might plug it in and see. But let's check out some of the uh, software you get on here, standard anyway. Um, right, so there's applications. There are settings menu, which you can do a lot of stuff. Uh, and there's some default kind of games on here. There's like Arkanoid, Astro Launcher, Doom. There's something on here called Streets of Rage uh, Remake. So we'll load a couple of these up and we'll just show you how they play. Uh, let's go into Free Doom. Crank up the volume. Volume on this thing is really good. It's got one single speaker, but it's a great um, it's a great little speaker. Should I turn it up a bit? I don't know if you can hear it. It's, yeah, it's weird playing Doom with a D-pad. I mean, I'm not. This is not really why I bought this thing, but uh, let's test it out now that it's here. unlock something there oh the door yeah I've opened the door is that a shotgun no oh I'm getting rinsed here I'm dead cool alright let's try another game let's try that Streets of Rage remake This is all live, so you can see how long it loads and stuff. I think it's down here. So Streets of Rage Remake version 5.1. All right, let's see what this is all about. I think this is like the Mega Drive version, but like a alternative levels and stuff. Bomber games. Very loud. got a little bit of slowdown. I don't know what the emulation for this game is like on this, but it's a bit stuttery. Alright, enough of that. Uh, oh, it looks like you can do like two player on this. There's a shop. Extra modes. All right. Oh, there's different options. Oh, that's interesting. Right, how do I exit this game? All right, press select to exit. But okay, so that's it. Uh, I don't know what else we can look at. I mean, obviously... Oh, let's go into the emulators. So it looks like there's like a NES emulator on here and a couple of Game Boy emulators, which is cool. Which is exactly what I want. Because there's Mega Drive and Super Nintendo, so... Pretty much everything I want. Oh, there's a PC Engine one as well. So this has essentially got everything I want on it. Just 8 and 16-bit stuff. So I'm real happy about that. It looks like you can put some uh, arcade on there for Final Burn Alpha. And, oh, PlayStation 1. Excellent. So I'll put some Castlevania on there, Symphony of the Night. Uh, do you know what? Should we plug in this? Um, let's see if there's anything on this. Let's turn this off a second. Let's see if there's anything on this. Um, is it a blank card or the, have they 
provided me with like some preloaded ROMs. Let's uh, let's check it out. Let's you open this thing here. This is a 64 gigabyte card. I think it goes in this side here. I'm not sure which way up it's going to go. Let's try that way. Doesn't feel right. Let's try the other way. Okay, we're in. Let's click it into place. It's not going in. I don't know if that's right. It feels right, but it's not staying in. Hold on a minute. We're in. Okay, just need a bit of a finger now. All right, let's load it up and see if there's any ROMs on that card. I like the quality of this. It's really good, heavy, solid. Like it's got a nice silver kind of metal design. It's a good. I mean, it's, it's. I think it's Chinese. It's from China. It's one of these Chinese company things. But it's. It's really. I mean. I've been told and seen videos about the build quality of these and um, yeah, it's definitely everything I was hoping. Let's just see what we've got in regards to... Oh my God, yes, that card has got games on it. It's pre They've preloaded me with games. Amazing. Um, what have we got? Me let's go Mega Drive. Oh, let's go back here. What am I doing? I don't know how to navigate these menus. I think B is back. Let's press start and go back out again. Uh, let's go Mega Drive. And see what games there are. Oh, wow. They've put ROMs on here. That's so cool. So lucky. Batman Forever. Uh, Batman Returns. Let's go with Batman Returns on the Mega Drive. That's a pretty good game. Okay, so it looks like the extra memory card is actually loaded with ROMs. So I can just play away, basically. You can flash um, images to memory cards and put like emulation station on here. But I think for now, I'm just going to use what's preloaded until it kind of maybe fails on me or I get sick of it. But... I just wanted a simple, quick device, and uh, I'm really happy that it's... Uh, I don't know if that screen resolution looks quite right. It's not exactly 4x3, is it? I don't know. Can you see this? Let's get close up a little bit. It's a bit far away. Here we go. I don't think this is Mega Drive, is it? Is this Mega Drive? It looks like NES. I don't know what's... Unless it's a hack or something. So select and start, I think. Exit it. Let's quit. I don't believe that's Mega Drive. I'm not convinced that's Mega Drive, you know. Um, let's try a different system. Let's go with... Let's go with Super NES. Oh, I've got the Mega Man. This is Castlevania on here. Oh, that'll be cool. Super Street Fighter 2. Oh, yes. Dracula X is on here. Oh, I'm so happy. I wanted to play Castlevania. Let's... Uh... Oh, that's definitely Super Nintendo. Sweet. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Yes. And I can finally complete this game properly. Well, not properly. I'm going to use save states, but, uh, you know, 
I'll have to play it all in one sitting. There we go. Let's play close up here. So what? What's that? X? No, that's Y X. Uh, B is jump. A does nothing at the moment. Let's go up the stairs. Okay, let's check out some of the other things on here. So, um, yeah, I wanted to play some Metroid games. Castlevania, Metroid, those kind of classic games. Uh, so, it's got a nice long list of uh, Game Boy Advance games on here. More than I've got, uh, which is cool. Let's go for Metroid Zero Mission. Metroid Fusion is on here. Let's load that up. There we go. So I think this is kind of like a remake of um, the original Metroid, wasn't it? Zero Mission. Ah, the colours on this are amazing. They're not coming through on the camera at all. Um, but yeah, it looks great. It looks just as nice as it does on my Game Boy Advance SP. I've got the Morph Ball. Cool. Yeah, that's Metroid. Let's look at some PlayStation now. Select and start. Okay, exit. And then PlayStation. If they've got Symphony of the Night on here, I think that would be cool. So let's scroll down. You can use these trigger buttons to scroll fast. So let's look for Castlevania. There it is. Look. Symphony of the Night, PlayStation 1. Let's load it and see how it goes. I don't think I've got... Would they have put the BIOS files on here, surely? Looks like it's loading, that's cool. Oh yes, look at that. Symphony of the Night. Oh, I am so excited for this. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm not going to start a new game just yet. Let's go and check out some other things. Um, should we have a look at some arcade just to see how it runs on this? Again, this is not the reason why I've got this, but uh, it's on here, so let's check it out. Samurai Showdown, Savage Rain. This is like Neo Geo stuff. Street Fighter. Champion Edition. Lots of fighting games. Super Contra. I'm not going to load any of these. You know, I mean, you should be familiar with arcade games. But it's cool that these are on here. Select Equip. Yeah, um, overall really nice. Um, Let's go into Mega Drive. I think this was Master System, wasn't it? Pico Drive is Mega Drive. That Batman game I played was Mega Drive, uh, was Master System. So, what's one of my favorite Mega Drive games? Golden Axe, it's Golden Axe on here. These are not by alphabet, are they? Ah oh dear. Love Golden Axe on the Mega Drive. Oh yes. Oh no, I lost it. Press the wrong button.
Let's, uh, let's check out Streets of Rage. Uh, they don't have Streets of Rage 1, no way. 3 then, I guess. Nice. volume up on here. Oh, that's a special move. That's jump. Oh, jumps up here. That's weird. I wonder if you can uh, change these keys. for MAME. <laughs> One game, hook. <laughs> oh dear. Seriously. Available games, one. Oh god. Um, game Boy. Original Game Boy. Uh, let's do one last one. <gasps> Batman. Yes. Yes. So cool. Look at that. That works nicely with that. Oh, I've pressed the wrong button there. Return to game. Oh, I don't know what's happening here with the control. He's kind of walking on his own. All right, that's jump. All right, here we go. We're off. The music on this is excellent, excellent, man. Sunsoft. Sweet. Okay, so there we have it, the uh, Ambernic 280, the RG, I beg your pardon, the RG 280V, um, nice little addition and a nice cool little retro gaming handheld device, so plenty of hours to look forward to on that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.